It's another Sunday and I welcome you to another episode of Revelations. My name is Mami Grace and I am your host. Today we are going to enjoy a very interesting story, a very interesting conversation. I am introducing my guest now. I have Dr. Dr. Everybody know him. Dr. Lawrence Tete himself on my set today. Doctor, I welcome you to Revelations. Thank you, Mami. And then I have another beautiful sister, another beautiful lady, another beautiful reverend. She will introduce herself. Um, I'm Reverend Baba Jericho, mm -hmm. um, head pastor of a church called Tabernacle of Praise, so in short, Top Chapel. Um, headquartered in Takradi, and we have a satellite satellite churches, 25 branches home abroad, Costa Rica. Yes, married with six beautiful kids. Ooh. An author, an entrepreneur, um, a good cook, and a fun to be with. <laughs> you heard her. Um, Auntie Baba had a story. She has a story to tell us. So we are going to listen to her, and doctor will help us dissect the issue. So, Auntie Baba, then our film, Niyama, our film, baby, and Yamidi will free, baby, and Yamidi will be drew. And no, any year, Pesce, yes, she, yet ye, ye be be far a foot to a womb, a be be yes, you who know, maybe be do a cheap, a be be for low, a be about our sorry, about be dia whom he said, Yan Yammy, I swear, Wama Wahuji, Pachomeda Sibbery. I mean, maybe I'm in starting free, but I, I think I'm going to just start it off from when I became born again. I became born again at the age of 16. Um, I had my secondary education, uh, the old system, form one to form five, I uh, Archbishop Potter Girls, I was And I'm here in sixth form, I was Laboni, Accra. And so I met the Lord when I was in lower six, I was Laboni Secondary School, and I me home. Already, but um, I want to share before I met the Lord because uh, the topic that I was given to talk about tonight was homosexuality, whether there is any um, spiritual mm -hmm. um, implications or whatever. Homosexuality, lesbianism, whatever it yeah. is about. Mm -hmm. So that's what you know. I guess you, you saw this, and I was called because of what we did on the standpoint mm -hmm. a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's, it's, so let me start by defining homosexuality. So homosexuality is a sexual attraction between same gender. So same gender, it could be a man, or a friend, a lesbianism. And me mano and omuka gay homosexuality. Just say be mani be ma ah want to have a sex. And answer so bani or ba want to have a sex. Well, so my story. I had a five years into lesbianism from the age of ten. When my mother thought then when I entered a secondary school very early uh, as a very I was a sharp kid into the course secondary school in time. We're actually the last batch of the old system. And to me, my mommy thought that there was some nice, respectable looking uh, elderly persons that I heard from seniors. Ah, Obaya, very hospitable. And you know, when she came to meet us as a new person in school, my mom thought, oh, a nice person. Without knowing Nimpa or Dene or Jano. And so this is the same person was supposed to like act like a, a big sisterly role, was supposed to be like a, a mother, a mentor to a 10 year old. So she was the one who sexually abused me, introduced me into lesbianism. So I had between uh, 10 years and 15 years, because I did form one to form five. Me me ba akra, me enter a sixth form. And I'm in where I'm sure at the age of 16. Into no saying, yeah, me where I dear. Probably by now, I, I may be having a brothel or something. So she actually was the one that pushed me into the act of lesbianism. Now, let me use this to uh, talk about this and then also say this. I'm sure uh, we had that story. We said we'll try and get a gentleman on. In his case, he was introduced at a very early age, around eight years or so. Then I have another friend 
who was introduced at the age of nine. And I, I pray that parents watching will take a cue from this. Oh no, no, or kwasra na down for now for na na down for no ne ma me to quaint na kapa pan pe ofi. Or see or da one man no who say. I say, Obi ye ni baby, or sorry, na na down for ne papa. Afan ewonichi. And that was how he was also introduced into it. Uh -huh. Would the enemy not yet per se in tea? Would the no a year obi? A what obi a woman meet me a GD winimu and they walk or share and in Santi, a bit me a cassa no authority be a war was soon to now or to me they will yet the open obi or shall so do your idea on per crown to minka. Eh, there be obi or shall so your idea on power to make her if you are matured na wuni mian sana but o sana o ya abofra wuni ma dia ye de ye o until we be realize no na da so wa jimtini wo asai o anan so se eh emwa bi afri baby but most of the time when you were a child i mean what sense is in a 10 year old's mind you don't know what it is that the person is even doing to you until you begin to like it that is where now the problem is. When you begin to like it, and now you are the one calling for it, then it's a different ball game Inti altogether. Until we get you to a point, ah, now we 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 be like it. Until then, any problem, ma, we be human. Now, said the house agent. Yes, definitely. Until we be like it, yeah. And now, I'm here, no, no, definitely. Uh -huh. Because I did be here, no, I could share more. Now we need, now you chill. As a, until we be here used to, and I be here normal to you. It was normal. It was a girl's school. That's the other thing that most parents also don't know. Um, we just shop for our kids and then we take them to school. And then we, we just take nice cars there to show off. Me bao sa school way, me bao sa school way. Without knowing what goes on there and what is happening to the child. So you get to that point and place where you also like it. And then you would also introduce, I'm sure the person who did that to me also went to the school very uh, young. And somebody also introduced that to it. And so it goes on and on and on. Until we are then a UPA free mo. Oh, um, and you know, my sex home, my new attack ready. My sex home, I did it in Accra, Laboni Secondary. Now, I was living with my uncle and then the family, the Shens, bless their hearts. When I came, my cousin, the same age, who is called Gina, she just said to me, let's go to church. I'm coming from a Christian background. It's not like I'm not coming. I'm coming from a very strong Christian background. Let's go to church. And I was like, my brand new, sorry, oh, my whole life, you're pushing my car, sorry, sir. Me, who, at the papa be our sorry. Then she went like, she rather was a Catholic. And then I'm coming from a background, I'm a Baptist. So it's like, yeah, I'm quite sorry. So I went like, where? What's the meaning, choosy? So then I said, okay, since I'm a Baptist, Let's go to Calvary Baptist because then I'm a Baptist. That day that we went to church, there was they were doing uh, they were they were asking there's something they do if you are coming from one region, a Baptist church to the other place. They want to know who the new people are, and then they will just call you to the front. They introduce you. In Tino, I'm here to announce that I'm from four more from four other regions. So I'm about to move forward. You know, I want to suffer back on to be an altar call, and so. I got mixed up with the altar call people and they thought I had given my life to Christ. But no, me me bow forward say, but show me free baby no ma me a Baptist. So they did that, you know how you say the altar call prayer. But my heart was not in it. That was not why I went there. Now something happened to me, how I met the Lord. After that event, that night, I and my sister, my cousin, we shared the same bed. So I was on my bed asleep. Namada. In the middle of the night, we had this, you know, the pictures of Jesus' frames in rooms. I answered, yes, yeah, see, yes, a picture. We had one in our room. In the middle of the night, something supernatural happened to me. I was 16 years old. I heard a voice that get up. And so when I woke up, I thought it was there because I'm not in chain. So I was like, oh, onja me how? Then it was strong. And I wasn't opening my eyes, but I could hear someone calling me. Then something pulled me from the bed to my knees on the floor. When I opened my eyes, the Jesus' picture that had always been a frame in our room came alive. And I was led, that altar, uh, a friend said, uh, salvation, a friend said, altar call, any salvation prayer, 
then the picture that was there now led me to say it. So she woke up and she saw me say, and I was in tears. I'm So she became alarmed. I said, what is happening? And I couldn't talk. Now this was my supernatural experience, how I came to know the Lord. So that is what took you out of the act. That was what took me. In fact, from that time, the age of 16, I don't remember, sir, we know, for another woman, went off. When that thing happened, when I had do you, that do you sometimes blame whoever introduced you? So, no, never will cause her situation anymore. No, you do. I do not blame her. Mm -hmm. Growing up, hitting 40 plus, looking back, I don't blame her. Now, I blame parenting, I blame the church, and I blame the hypocrisy. And uh, uh, when we talk about sexual topics and sexual issues, near dear, it's so much shrouded, and I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, there's a way I say it that I'm telling you, because I'm too plain. But obvious, you know, and so I'm better working with them. Oh dear, yes, sir. Um, um, daddy, Pacho, I saw my uncle yesterday. He was telling me about the moon, the wife, the parenting, the one. Yeah. Since it's a lesbianism, something that we are talking, yeah, are the um, homosexuality, ni what have you, the lesbianism, ni na yeah, from born to far. Ni a okay, or see when you mean any encounter, no to me, ni ni free mo. If I say me who sad, the normal way, and is there a spirit that is backing it? Is is it a spiritual something? Na a true fan of one or so, and I say a yakono. And I said, your kind of cheese will be introduced to him. Well, bet me willingly, every who bet me so at name willingly. And I also obey me church, you know, and I will for one so so. So, among cassex, who was him? This is three, these three questions. Pachon per se, why a whom who munipa now a woman so a chen, per so dear for Mukakran yet, yes, you are. You know, to begin with, Baba is somebody I've known very well. In fact, mm -hmm. she's one of my protégés. Mm -hmm. So one of the young ladies who have not just come of age, but have proven ministry. I know her husband very well, I know her children, I know her family very well. <laughs> I can attest to character-wise. And the truth is that we have a responsibility. The church has a responsibility. The responsibility is that we must be informed so we can inform people. We seem to truly hide from certain subjects. That is killing. What did they discuss at children's ministry? Most of us became smokers because of school. We, be, we began to drink because of school. We began to have sexual intercourses at a very early age because of school. When people are properly informed, we know how to pick and choose our lifestyle. And then this issue about parents, should we speak in? I don't think my mother realized how many times I smoked weed until I said it on TV one day and she put her hand on her head. That nene, oh Shelly weed, that yes, I've smoked weed before. And I was explaining to the people when I smoked weed the first time, I saw the sky very close. So I wanted to jump to touch the sky. I oh, jumped oh, a few times. Yeah, yeah, then not boom. I wanted to jump a few <laughs> times. So it was Charles Stone who stopped my face in Lawrence. I didn't know how far with him. It's going to get humongous. They brought me back to campus and put water on me, and I decided never again to touch it. Mm. I realized this can mess me up, and so we we get exposed. And I, I agree with Pastor Baba. But coming back to homosexuality and lesbianism, it is spiritual. God created your eye to do what? To see. Your ears. To listen. Your nose to smell it, your leg to walk, it, your mouth to talk and okay. eat. Okay, so if God gives you a manhood, a womanhood, it has a purpose, mm. and the moment you use it for something else, it is called perversion. Mm. And perversion is a sin, not just a sin against God, but even against your own soul and spirit. I have lived in Europe since the mid 80s and I can tell you one of the most terrible things 
that have happened to most young men and women is homosexualism and lesbianism. Mm. There are walk-in clinics in London where I live with my wife and children. And walk-in clinics, if you see the number of pads that are brought out, men, men I can take on, like my type, they wear pads because their anus is torn and they have to wear pads like a woman in a period in a menses before they are able to wear trousers like I'm wearing now. Now, we are inculcating this habit here in Ghana, and it is sad. If you go to Akotolante, where I was born, I was born at Jamestown. My mother is from Osu, and my father is from Dodoa, but I was born at Jamestown. If you go to Akotolante and Jamestown, and you see the number of young men and women in homosexualism and lesbianism, you cry. I'm not old, I know. In Ghana. In Ghana, here in Accra. In fact, I'm using a typical place. I was born there. I was born at Jamestown. I even had to go and do a crusade in Jamestown and made an altar call for homosexual and lesbians. I should be making reference to my own place. I believe charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. It's happened in a lot of places. But I'm using Akutolante. And say, if you go now, Kujo Bessia is on the rampart. And this is not just an attitude or a habit or a corner bunny. It's spiritual, a home. Look at any man who is a homosexual. Yeah. It's foolishness. But then it also brings sickness. Most of hepatitis today and HIV today and some of the sexually transmitted diseases today has come as a result of this. Unfortunately for them, the people who come to mess up with them and get them into this act of lesbianism or homosexualism, they just give them little money and they sleep with them. And so we need to even, as a government, as a people, our political leaders should start including that in their manifesto. Now, we want to copy the West. In the West, they have work, uh, uh, clinics. Ghana here. Those of us who have lived in Europe for a long time, when we come back and we go to hospitals, in fact, when my wife and children enter into hospitals here, it's like it's a death warrant for them. Because we don't have the equipment, let alone what equipment you can get to take care of the effect of homosexuals and lesbianism. So me, there's a gentleman called a lawyer Moses Fuamoni, who is an anti a homosexual and gay campaigner. I support him fully because I know what effect has caused. And also, ever since I entered into ministry and understood the ministry of deliverance, don't say nipa blah 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 blah. That thing is very transferable. That spirit is very, very destroying. A lot of people today who are living into masturbation and certain things started from certain things and i want to tell you a story i was lecturing in a university in the uk a beautiful ghanaian girl not any ghanaian of course miss race came to me and said brother lawrence i have a problem he said since she was 26 no man has proposed to her before now if you see the lady i'm a man I know beautiful ladies, like the two of you. I know you are very, very beautiful and good looking. Thank you. Oh, me who are the pa? Me who are the pa? My name. Oh yeah. Me who are the pa? My name. You, mum, crap, crap. Look at the way you are even feeling about yourself. Mum, crap, mum, When she said she has this case, I'm like my mate. You understand? She says since she was 26 years old, no man has ever proposed to her. Like. She was 36 at the time we spoke. It means for 10 years, a PhD research fellow in a very renowned university in the United Kingdom where I was studying to, and no man proposed to her. So what said if she wants to ease herself and have sex or make love, it is a cleanest who are male that she offers herself to. As I spoke to her, Something occurs to me spiritually. That what does she does it think she's done that is not right? As I held hands to start praying for Pastor Baba, you believe it. I heard the word lesbianism, supism. So I said, I don't normally do this. Are you into supi and tea? She said, shaking. She said she went to school in Ghana here. 
Okay. So you went to one of the girls' schools in Ghana. Sometimes you want to also be careful because some of these things you say, you don't want to undermine any school. Yes, yes. She went to a, a girls' school here in Ghana. And in the girls' school, she had like what Pastor Baba is saying. She had a senior prefect. When she school was, mother, school mother, school father, When school she father, was father. in Form 1, she had a six former who took care of her. So when you were saying it, it was just adding up to that, that story. So it was the lady who introduced her. Or did she said she in home, fingering her, touching her, doing anything. And said she got excited about it. Her senior. Because of that, nobody did anything to her in first year. When the lady finished, until she finished sixth form, constant relationship. Then she became born again in sixth form. And the lady said, we we'll see who will be excited about you. Came to the UK. After university, they tried to resolve. It was when she was 25 years old that she really became strongly a born again. Said, rubbish. I can't do this thing anymore. And the woman said, then you see that nobody will love you anymore. So from 26, so she was 36. 10 Lola, years, spiritual ten marriage. Years. Now, when we took her to, of course, those were the days of preferred to wear wild young men and things, school fellowship, grab this lady in the evening. It was an ugly deliverance. The order, the things that happened, then I realized that this homosexualism is more spiritual than you can imagine. But if anybody is listening to me today, the most unwisest thing you can do to yourself is to leave yourself like that. And hear me, in the realm of the spirit, you end up getting married to a spirit and no man will virtually love you. Now, people who also enter into homosexualism are never satisfied by love. Mm -hmm. Because your, your, your level of perversion messes you up. It's like somebody who is very much into masturbation. If you get to do masturbation so much, I'm told it will be very heavy, difficult for you to get a man or a woman properly give you satisfaction. Homosexualism is a spirit and is destroying people now. And to be honest with you, we should not hide away from the truth. It's happening in Ghana. It's destroying people in Ghana. Mm. It's at high places. There are a lot mm. of people in prominence mm. today in Ghana that mm. foolishly have ended up becoming lesbians. In fact, there are a lot of people today who have vibrators that they are either into homosexualism, into lesbianism, and no more you understand this supi, 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 by the time you realize, no, is there any spiritual? Why is it spiritual? The enemy knows how to get you from the will of God for you to end up in his grip. And so, we need to work on it. Okay. Um, you, when you were talking, you, you, you were calling for our leaders, the politicians, and all, all that. But you said... It is spiritual. So I was thinking you would rather call the pastor since it is spiritual. Because they handle the spiritual affairs of the country. So I was thinking you call, you will put it, I mean, you put it to them that it is your responsibility. You come from the flesh and then you, you the get spirit. to the spirit. Okay. So if they can do something, so now because now they don't want to hide anymore. They are coming out now. When you go to social media, you will see you will see them coming out now boldly. Before it is abominable for you to talk about say, oh yes, simple. But now they are coming out. It's not that they are coming out to condemn it, but they are coming out to justify their actions. You will be surprised. This program, the comments we hear, of course, without being too arrogant, mm -hmm. are more known than the two of you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you look on social media now after this program. The comments you see about Lawrence, you'll be shocked. Most of the people writing the comments are people who are in need themselves. Yeah. Oh. It is a cartel. It's a big, big mm -hmm. cartel. Mm -hmm. And people you expect to be responsible are in it. Of course, in the Western community, the devil has used it in such a way that this is a, a sexual orientation and things. Remember, there was a time there were some European leaders who said, uh, Ghana should do it. Atamil stood firm and said, no. If that is the only way you should be sponsored, no. As we speak now, America is very much into it. Hmm. The president of America has really endorsed it. We need a miracle. We need to we pray. Need a miracle. So, 
As for the pastors, they are doing their part. But if we and our leaders can stand to it, then it helps us to give us a basis from which they can be delivered. We can, we can do our part privately and quietly and minutely, but on a larger scale, we need our leaders. And hear me, the saddest thing about our leaders in Ghana is that no political leader in Ghana here can say they are not Christian. At least the, the, the people you and I can, have, can relate to. Mm -hmm. President Rollins of blessed memory was a Catholic. Mm -hmm. President Kufuo, who is still alive, is a Catholic. President Atamils is a Methodist. President John Mama is a Assembly of God member. And President Nanado Dankwa Kufuado is a, an Anglican. All of them are they, Christians are and Christians. their power is superior and to the yes, pastors. Still, they can say they, they want to be politically right. All our leaders. Mm -hmm. So you don't take anybody out of it. So we need to pray. We need to pray. Mm. We need to pray. Um Auntie Baba, would the wakum da na wunim what it takes and not the eti me person may be so say a a damn pain the woman now because we free mu we don't need to go back but then i walk actually or more or be a also a woman on call for now no we need me be a few one on him so i'm a woman how i'm a woman saying say say and now i'm a woman then i'll be catching on or being so i'm not doing so become a foot to be in a water man that's it well um uh, fortunately for me was strangely with me mid you know i didn't get the uh boldness to initiate people. I think it was just a short phase of my life. But I will say this. Because of the first program I did, a lot of people in the past two weeks have reached me. Many have reached me. I want to use this platform to say this. Please, as much as the act of homosexualism and lesbianism, all of these things are, you know, sexual perversions. Please do not let us become harsh and hate the people in it. Mm -hmm. The last two weeks has been a journey for me. A lot of people are now chatting me up on, on Facebook. Minsumi Womo, the youngest, is only six and a half years. I want to say this first to anyone that is in it. I want to tell you this, that you are special to God. And I'll tell you what, if God took me out and has brought me to this point and is taking me on, nyami otumifa adefunu a enfatabia. Na wafana we see see. Intino, sa wu omna sa wu shenya, diya sa ni adadi kanya, ye kantre ono. Sa obi tumi no mwid ni adeng na wu skuno. Please don't think that your life, because some long man because some women say Christians hate them. Obia tayomo, you are not hated. You are loved. It's just what you are in that is destructive. And so I want to tell you this: that we don't hate you. If you are in, help is there for you. Reach out to some of us, and we can help you. Number two, I want to address parents that found out that their kids have been involved in either lesbianism or homosexual. I, I, I am one person that. I, it's difficult. I don't judge people. Uh, I have had a very interesting cocktail uh, of a background the such that it makes me fall in love with anybody that comes my way. Metisa, I saw him instrumentalist. They about dreadlocks near the uncle I love them the way they are. Sometimes I buy them the earrings the, the, myself. So I offer share the Holy Ghost to work in them, take them through their process. Every parent, I will be able to find it out. Say, oh, Baba, oh, Baba. They, they are, they've either been into it before or you just found out that they are into it. Don't go and find some good thing because say, my word, the flu of fear. Don't do that. A, a difficult a, a situation when you find, especially in the African setting, yeah. Don't condemn your child. Don't look down upon him or her. Don't throw him or her away. Embrace that child. More love will change the person. More love and prayer. 
and counseling will change the person. But say, if so condemn a colano, no bend the rest of the kids cry. You are pointing fingers at them. Emboa, I think so. So only I could know sorry. So far, we are sorry, no, no, no. Please, we are begging you. Jesus did not come for the righteous. Jesus came for sick people. That is why we need him. The church is supposed to be a clinic. It's supposed to be a hospital. Not for pretenders and hypocrisies. Hypocrites. We need uh, uh, friends, uh, real people who will come to church with their issues. And the church must be able to respond with love. Not with spite. Don't condemn anybody. As much as is evil, it affects you. It can affect you to the extent that you didn't go and grow up. Or like I say, I hate that Dolores for mm -hmm. mm -hmm. because the Bible says that we have become so blinded spiritually. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But I want to tell everybody out there that is watching us say, and boa ewo homa asofu o mama yen sorry asori mama yen sorry ni yen kan wasem na sofu bia wa re bia ozibi me da say daddy in 1 minute um summarize my then na yen kan chom enkola yen educate yen ba na de na e ba obi kan wasem a yen chim ntuma na de ni yen ye what can we do to limit it at least Yes, to people are yes, limited now and exploding. We all have a collective responsibility. Mm. The church, the clergy, every individual, our political leaders, we have a collective responsibility. If we don't cease and stop this now, in the next few years, it will mess it up. Boys and girls that are supposed to be responsible, and at the end of the day, Life will not be seen. Remember the same politicians who think so we should have left right now. We are the same people who realize that we will not have the caliber of people to take things serious. So let us wake up. And in waking up, no, we shouldn't joke about it, it at all. We have to be serious with our life. Otherwise, we don't even have the equipment to keep them and to deal with them. And it's not worse. The cultures we pick from the West. It's not all the cultures that are acceptable here. Thank you. We have our own way of life. And for us, it's an abomination. And if we see it as an abomination, but why? Traditional rules. In fact, I went to the chief imam. I went to chief imam. And I spoke. There was going to last year, there was going to be a conference here in Ghana. And Ghana was happy to receive the conference. Yeah, there was going to be a homosexual conference, international conference here in Accra. So I went to chief imam. It became, if you go, Google Lawrence Tata and chief imam, it will come. It came viral. And I spoke to chief imam openly. And I said, chief imam, we cannot accept it. And I said, Memona didn't marry Abiba. Eh? And, and uh, uh, Amina didn't marry Ishitu. So did uh, uh, well, Peter we did didn't marry, marry Ali. Ali. <laughs> Ali. Mm. So the man's own is for a woman's own. Mm. A woman's own for a man's own. It is not for something you else. You heard, doctor. And so that oh. is how it was kept. And the Muslims, it, mean, it meant a lot to them. They took it up. The Christian leaders took it up, and by the grace of God, are limited. So they are under limited. there. So yes. we should kill it yes. under there. Okay, yo, you heard, doctor. I don't have anything to say. Yes, if any injury we are not sure, something we know must must work. I say we. What say the anti Baba can? What say the doctor? So I can be the minister. You can. You want to make answer? Baby, I will be a head down. Maybe we also act. Maybe the insuru. So we want to make it. Radenka, you know, same time next week. Baba, why? Bye.